Hello Queens, welcome back. We're going to get right into using some of the products from the May 2018 Curl Kit. So off camera, I've already gone ahead and moisturized my scalp with some Myel Organics. With some Myel Organics Almond, her, um, what's it called? Her um, Almond Mint um, Hair Oil. I love that one. I've been using the heck out of that for probably like the last couple of months now. But we're going to start out with using the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Moisture Curl Hair Milk. If you guys want to know more about the collection just on its own and what we received in the May Curl Kit, definitely click the link up above so that we can watch that video and then come back to watch this video today. So this one here, of course, is just going to be our leave-in for today. So the directions are to just simply apply it to damp towel dry or dry hair do not rinse it out because again this is your leave-in i like the consistency of this product it is um like a medium weight to it it's not like super duper heavy um but it is moisturizing so i'm appreciative of the fact that it does mix well with the other products i just simply tested it out in my hands so if you're ever wondering if products will mix well together before you put them on your hair just do it a little bit and then just combine them and then try it like a different way to just make sure and then definitely make sure that you kind of add like a little bit of water because i noticed too that that does make a difference if the products will either stay together or just simply you know um separate from each other and then two balls up so um that's just a um, tip for you guys if you're just wondering and then next we are going to use the curl repair leave-in this one states that it locks in moisture for dry damage and coarse hair so this is going to be one of our stylers i'm not going to use a whole lot of it i want to use this in conjunction with the actual shine and hold control glue because it worked well together before i actually combined it with the hair milk so yes that's the three products that i'm going to be using but i like the consistency of the curl repair leave-in and um at first i was going to use this in conjunction with the hydrating curling cream that i already have from this collection but i but then i remembered i already shared that product in particular so i decided not to use it but i like this one this reminds me to, um of the cantu leave-in repair the repair leave-in that they have um it smells really really well of course cream of nature all of their products always smell the same across the board which i do appreciate and then of course like i stated we're going to use the shine and hold control glue i think i'm just going to primarily use this closer towards my ends just to ensure that i have definition because i noticed that now that my hair is a lot longer um i'm really having to focus on my ends and making sure that they're defined because my ends aren't split they're not damaged or anything like that's just the length of my hair so something new that i'm having to like try out with so i hope Hopefully this product will help with that because if you guys saw again in my unboxing for the May Curl Kit, you saw how that little bit that I put on my edges really held down and my edges were dry in that video. I did not apply any water before I went in with that product. So guys, let's go right ahead and get into setting and styling this hair. Um, I am going to do flat twists. That's just really what I've been into. Um, I had asked for you guys to send me some ideas, but nobody really hit me up on the ideas. So y'all... If you want different videos, y'all have to let me know in the comments or send me a DM or just comment on a post over my Instagram account, okay? So I still love y'all, but yeah, if y'all want to see something, you have to let your girl know because again, I'm low maintenance, low manipulation when it comes to my hair. So if you want to see different styles that you think I would like and you know it's not going to be a whole lot of manipulation, just let me know because I would love to try them out, especially for the summertime for protective styles. So enough chit chat, let's get right on in today's video. So I don't want this side of my head to dry out, so we're going to leave this on here and just simply begin flat twisting. You guys know how I pretty much flat twist, but we're, again, we're just pretty much reviewing the products from the new Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Collection from the, again, May 2018 Curl Kit. So we're going to start out using the Moisture Curl Hair Milk. I'm probably going to use a little bit more of this besides the other products because, again, they're a little bit heavier, and I'm going to be using two styler products in conjunction to get, like, the maximum definition because if you guys are aware i live in florida and um we're supposed to be getting this tropical storm i'm just like lord have mercy jesus i'm like no wonder the weather has just been so freaking crazy as of lately so you know you gotta just go with the flow of mother nature you know i'm not even mad i'm just asking for protection so y'all just keep your prayers for us so we're gonna start out with the again moisture curl hair milk i want to start out with this one first in particular because i just want to make sure that my hair doesn't dry out so i'm going to use about that much maybe one more pump um just to make sure that i get the entire section yeah that one pump that one extra pump was enough yeah so we're just going to apply this onto my hair here 
And y'all, my hair has just gotten so long. If you didn't see my recent post over on Instagram, definitely go and check it out. Um, I'm just so shocked at just how long my hair is. Okay, that's that um, allocate deconditioner. That's that coming out of there. <laughs> Y'all, I thought it was balling up in my hair, but it's not. But as you guys can see, my hair was already pretty much detangled. But my hair really likes this product. I like the slip of this product. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't use a whole lot of it. Because when I go in with the rest of the styling products from this collection, yeah, it's going to give that hole that I need. So, this is good, you guys. Yeah, I really do like it. My hair looks really, really good. Yeah, so my hair really likes that. It's really, really perfect. So, I want to do that to the front section as well because I just want to, again, make sure that my hair does not dry out. This is why I love Cream of Nature. <laughs> They're like one of my favorite brands. Um, if you guys can tell, I really don't talk about a lot of brands. I just come on here and I share my reviews with you guys because honestly and truly, I use the same brands over and over. Um, my favorite ones are Cream of Nature. Um, let's see, Cream of Nature, Eden Body Works, Botanical Bliss, Jamaican Mango and Lime. They are a big contributor to my hair growth journey. If you're looking for some extra dark castor oil, oh my gosh, the best on the market. Um, you also have My L Organics as well. I forgot to tag Camille Rose as well because I love her style. Those things are bomb. And then um, I think I'm forgetting somebody else. But oh, and Allocate Naturals and Imperial Dax for naturals. Those brands and Luster's Pink as well. Those brands in particular, I use those regularly. So this is what my hair looks like after applying that hair milk, y'all. My hair is juicy. It really did like that. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and start on the back first for... Um, because they're just so long. My hair's just so long in the back now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair in the back. And then I'm going to actually just apply the product. And then you guys will see me twisting it down. Because um, I just really just want to talk about the products in particular. Not really how I'm styling my hair. Because again, I'm just doing flat twists. So let's get back into the review. Okay, you guys. So now that I got this small section right here divided. What we're going to do now, we're going to take some of the um, Curl Repair Leave-In. And I'm just going to simply just take some of that. And I'm just going to place that in my hand because, again, I'm going to be using it in conjunction with the Shine, shine and Hold Control Glue. So we're just going to take a little bit of this and put this right here in my palm as well. I hope you guys can see that. There we go. And I'm just going to take just a dab. Literally probably like a pea size amount. That's probably a little bit bigger than a pea size. And then see here, I'm just going to mix it together because I tried this in my hand before I'm applying this on my hair. And I did try this again in conjunction with the hair milk and I'm just going to simply apply it. Now I know I said in the beginning that I was going to just apply the um, glue at the ends and I probably will start doing that after this particular twist. But as you guys can see here, my hair likes it. My hair likes it a lot. Yeah, because we don't want our hair to have product just sitting on it. We want our hair to fully absorb the product. So, there we go, y'all. So, what I'm fixing to do now is I'm fixing to just simply flat twist. is that they smell really good one they're very very hydrating they provide a lot of slip especially if you're styling on um wet hair i should say because i've only used their other product on um necessarily dry hair so i really do like the way that my hair is feeling after applying all of these products onto my hair you guys like i really do like it like i like the fact that my hair, again, has a lot of slip. It's moisturized. And I don't ever really worry about the product that's on my hair because I just always slide it on down. 
and then I just continue the same process so I'm going to actually just continue to repeat this all over my head and we're going to speed up through this you guys but if you guys cannot tell my hair is loving this product again I use the hair milk the curl repair leave-in and then the shine and hold control glue yep control glue shine and hold control glue I just want to make sure I got that right and as you guys can see my hair is just very moisturized so what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to continue this on the rest of my head. And then also, I'm going to let this dry overnight. I like to air dry. And then after that, tomorrow, I will take it down. So let's continue on, you guys, because I'm excited. I'm ready to see these results. you guys i was gonna put in some flat twists so i have a total of eight flat twists in and this is what the back looks like if y'all are wondering yeah so i mean it's, i don't care if the spacing isn't perfect because for me that just means less um manipulation with me having to actually fluff out my hair to make sure that i can cover up those places where i actually parted my hair to set and style my hair see so y'all i cannot wait for my hair to fully dry again i did use the may curl kit for 2018 it was featuring the cream of nature takeover for their new coconut milk collection and pretty much y'all they have some new products again we went in with the moisture curl hair milk for our leave-in for today and then we followed up using the curl repair leave-in and i must say i really do like the curl repair leave-in it's very moisturizing you honestly don't even have to use the hair milk if you don't want to but me i like to make sure that my hair has a lot of moisture so that's why i used it in conjunction with the curl repair leave-in and it's really really nice it does lock in the moisture like it stays and it gets a nice look as well you guys now the shine and hold control glue this is going to be the one thing that i'm going to be concerned with once my hair sets and dry because when i did apply this onto um my edges in the initial unboxing and just sharing with you guys the products and how they work and everything it did flake up on my edges the next day so i'm curious to see how it's going to work on my hair again this is me trying it on freshly washed hair and then in conjunction with the curl repair leave-in i did use again like a pea size amount maybe a little bit bigger probably about the size of a garbanzo bean garbanzo bean or chickpea if you know what i'm talking about and yeah but i really do like the consistency of it it is tacky like a glue and i do expect it to give me some nice hold and i do expect my hair to have a lot of shine you guys because that's just cream of nature i've never used their products and not seen my hair have some kind of shine softness bounce as well as volume and especially definition so i'm going to let my hair air dry all day today this is pretty much how i'm going to be rocking it today i'm probably just going to put a scarf on to kind of lay down these flyaways just for today and then tomorrow i'll come back on here to actually just take my hair down and share my final thoughts with you guys as to what i thought after using the new cream of nature coconut milk for natural hair collection from the may 2018 curl kit
So these are my results after using the May 2018 Curl Kit. I am floored with my results. Now you guys know my main concern was the Shine and Hold Control Glue. Just simply because it acts just like a gel. And I am honestly satisfied with how my hair feels. I'm happy that I did use this in conjunction with the Curl Repair Leave-In and the Moisture Curl Hair Milk. I feel that the Moisture Curl Hair Milk really does work as a leave-in. Whereas the Curl Repair Leave-In is a little bit more hydrating and a lot more thicker. But I like this one in comparison to this one. Simply because I would get away with being able to use a little bit more of this with other products. So that's just something to keep in mind. Because you guys knew that I was trying not to use a whole lot of products. Just simply just trying to avoid you know, any kind of product residue, buildup, and any kind of flaking as well. So I'm happy to announce that for my natural hair that... The Shine and Hold and Control Glue did not flake. So, yes, I'm mad happy about that. So, I will be using this going forward. Um, I might even use this to refresh my hair this week just because I'm excited with the results. And, y'all, my hair, of course, has a lot of shine because Cream of Nature always comes through with the shine and the definition. Like, that's just Cream of Nature. That, like, if anything else, you're going to get shine and definition from Cream of Nature. I love it. As well as making sure that your hair is moisturized. Now, I just took my hair down. It's been three days since I actually filmed the first part of this video simply because we was under a tropical storm warning and it was humid outside and I was like no I'm not taking my hair down yet so this is three days later and I just simply just separated it today um I didn't even actually separate it um pretty much as you guys saw I just pretty much just let it separate on its own where it naturally wanted to because again the products were just awesome the way that I applied them and just the way that they actually just provided the hold and the moisture that I was looking for for my natural hair and I just decided to go ahead and just puff it up even though it doesn't seem like it it is up off of my neck um again because I know um now that my twist outs don't last as long because my hair is a lot longer you guys so um I just simply just try to rock with it um Oh, and also, too, I want to state that with using these products on freshly washed hair, you are going to experience some shrinkage. So that's another reason why I puff my hair up because my hair was kind of shrunken on the sides. And I don't like that look necessarily. I like to keep my length in the front. And you guys know my hair in the front is more kinkier than it is in the back. So I always have to worry about making sure that I have the length that I'm looking for in the front if I'm going for a particular style or if I'm just trying to avoid wearing a headband at all like I typically try to do. Now, I did slay my edges today using the Perfect Edges Extra Hold. Um, I got another thing. I got a hold another one that's not even open yet. Oh my gosh. But I used this one today. Um, I do have the black one, and we just finished using the original one that they have. But I like this one with the extra hold because it doesn't take a lot. You just need to use a little bit, you guys, because I must say for my edges in particular, if I use too much of this, I will experience product buildup on my edges, which I do not care for. So just a tip again, um, if you're like me, you don't use a lot of edge control, but you do use it periodically, then yeah, I would not use a whole lot of, again, the extra whole version, maybe the regular strength one. Um, but yeah, this one does provide a good amount of hold. So I did just put some on my edges here and then I just simply brushed them lightly and that was it. And I put Put a band on and y'all these are my results so i'm loving the way that my hair is looking it has a lot of shine i did take my hair down using their um essential seven treatment oil i love this oil it's lightweight it's very moisturizing um, it's really good for takedowns and i know sometimes with using oil sometimes it will cause your hair to have um 
like your product to build up on your hair when you're trying to take your hair down but this does not do that it's again very lightweight and i just love the consistency of it and this is a repairing oil for moisture and protection so again like i stated it has been not necessarily raining raining but it has been super humid here with where i live in florida again because we had like this many subtropical storm push through so yeah you guys so i love my results after using the may 2018 curl kit again i did use the moisture curl hair milk and then i went in with the curl repair leave-in and then the shine and hold control glue and y'all i really do like my results i mean I cannot complain oh and I did forget to mention that I did use their um, shampoo from their honey collection because I did get that from a giveaway that they were um, having so if you're wondering what I did use to wash my hair um, I did go in with that I went in with the um, cream of nature ACV rinse and then I went in with their new honey shampoo from the new honey collection and then I went in with the allocate naturals honey and sage deep conditioner yeah you guys so this pretty much concludes today's video okay I'm about to have hand in hair soon syndrome let me stop because y'all know i like big hair so yeah y'all so i hope you enjoyed today's video queens if you haven't done so already please make sure that you're subscribed down below turn on that bell so that we can be notified when i upload new content here on my channel which is between one to two times in a week and if you want more of me you can check out all of my other social media um handles down below in the description bar as well queens okay so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today queens and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye, you guys. Mwah.